All about vibes here, we moving in style. Traffic spinning, keeping it clean. Mile after mile, concrete dreams are not futuristic, never sell. Engine revving, the rhythm's alive, let it sail. Monitors lit, 3D vision in full view. Fantastic creations, we blaze the path true. Flowing through the city, infrastructure's a must. In the heart of a hustle, we cultivate trust. Elevate the scene, wrap it up in the beat. From the ground to the sky, watch the tribes can't be beat. We shaping the world, see the art collide. In this junction of life, there's nowhere to hide. Beautiful structures, driving our fate in this transit life. Hello yet again and welcome back to Civil Visualizing with Sam. In this episode, we're going to take this standard intersection with stop signs and we're going to import it along with a proposed design that's going to have more of a traffic circle design. This is going to be very simple. We're going to focus on efficiency and show why Civil Engine is a great tool for these types of projects and show how you can switch between existing versus proposed. So the first thing we need to do is export these out of SketchUp and then we will bring them into Civil Engine. So go to File, Export 3D Model and we'll call this existing. All right, now we want to go to the proposed model, File, Export 3D Model. And if you're curious, these are the options. We'll call this proposed. All right, so now we can go into Civil Engine and we're going to choose the option called Import Base Model. And we want to start out with existing. And we're going to leave everything the same except we're going to change the units to centimeters and finish import. All right, so here is our existing model. And because both existing and proposed were centered at the point of origin, then they should come in in the same location. So we'll test that by going to the import panel and we want to import new go to proposed again make sure that our units is centimeters and finish import all right so that z fighting gives us an idea that we have them in the same spot which is what we want go to hierarchy base models now we can turn off the proposed while we texture the existing so for existing go to import go to texture you'll see nothing's here that's because you need to save it first before you can texture all right, so now that we saved it, you can see we've got our options to texture now. And so now we need to just click and apply the textures that we want. And you can, sometimes you're gonna to wanna to play around with some of the different textures and get the right look and feel. A lot of this is subjective, no matter the project, because there are a lot of different ways that you can visualize things like asphalt and concrete. And so we have a, a bunch of options for you to to choose the one that you prefer. And you can see pretty quickly, we have our, our project already textured. All right, so let's do the same thing for proposed. So I went and I turned proposed on and existing off. And then we're going to make sure that we're consistent in the right areas and we can be a little bit more creative in the other areas. Round and round we go like a will on the grind. Blueprints in the air. Futures will be fine. From bridges to the tunnels. We're laying out the lines in this dance. Up. All right, so we're about five minutes in. And we've got our projects imported and textured. And now we need to do some more elements like adding assets and also doing our traffic and so on. But before we do that, we need to make our phases. So you go to phase and enter phase name, existing, removed. Often for these simple ones, you can handle it with just three. Existing, remaining. And then proposed. All right, and the reason we're gonna do that is because let's say that we have some buildings here Let's go find some buildings. We're not gonna do the whole thing, just, just as a quick reference. So let's go to buildings. All right, so pretty simple stuff. But the reason we do that is because now that we've placed those assets, we can put them into a folder and wrap with folder. We'll call these buildings. And then phases, we want to say existing remaining. 
All right, so for the other ones, for existing, we want to call this existing removed. And then for proposed, we want to call that uh, proposed. All right, so now we can handle everything with our phase menu. So you can see here, we've got proposed on, and we've got, um, we can do that just like that. And this is also so that we can handle it with our Gantt chart, which I'll, I'll show in just a little bit. All right, so now we need to add some traffic, which I can do very quickly. So let's go to our paths, traffic pedestrians. We can just do traffic all. And again, we're gonna keep this very simple. I will do intersection controllers here in a little bit. And because this isn't a standard uh, traffic light scenario, we can't technically do it the way it would be, which would be like a yield condition. And so what we're gonna do is just keep our timing pretty short and we'll see how that looks. And this can be kind of a, a test and go situation that you can play around with for yourself. All right, so that's too long. So let's just try one second and see what happens. All right, perfect. So that looks like it's doing what we want it to do, which is what just let one vehicle through per, uh, per cycle like you would in a stop sign scenario. So that looks pretty good. All right, let's make sure we save this and then we can move on to the proposed condition. Well, before we do that, we need to go and we need to, let's call these paths existing, wrap them with a folder. And then we want to phase this existing removed. All right, so now when we turn existing removed off, then that will be gone. All right, so now we can do our traffic here in this traffic circle. And All right, so we've got our traffic pass going for our traffic circle. And I want to I want to kind of lower the traffic volumes here just so it's more manageable and more illustrative of what we're trying to do. I just want to slow it down, which is often the design purpose of a traffic circle or a roundabout. All right, now we need to do an intersection control here as well. So let's do one and call it proposed. And then we need to add all of these traffic paths. So let's add them. All right, and then here we can put, uh, let's put these, let's put four phases and then just set them all pretty short. And in this case, you will have some that drive through uh, cars in some scenarios, but it shouldn't happen very often. And you can, if that happens, just reset your recording if you're trying to set up a video. But here, let's go to simulation speed and let's speed that up to see what we've got. I'm gonna turn off our traffic pass, path visualizers. All right, so that's looking pretty realistic, which is what we're trying to achieve in this scenario. So now we should be able to switch between existing and proposed and get that uh, quick look. Oh, we got to make sure, again, these paths are on proposed. So let's call that proposed. We could have called that traffic, uh, but let's just go there. And now... <clears throat> Let's lock those folders and let's set up, sorry, let's go to phasing and then there we go. So we can switch between existing and proposed and shut off our other visualizers. All right, so you can see here we've got our scenario. These trucks are gonna run into each other. 
not ideal, but something again you could adjust by uh, continuing continuing to play with those intersection controllers. And and then I want to go to the publisher just to show how the Gantt chart system works. So let's create a new chart, and let's call this uh, existing versus proposed. Confirm. And we want to add existing and proposed. We don't care about uh, the existing or remaining, which are just the buildings. So actually what we can do here, if we wanted to just alternate between them, is just um, do something short. All right, and then you can play around with uh, changing the colors on those if you want. And you can scrub through just by grabbing this bar and going through or you can press play. All right, I wanna do a few trees just to make this prettier. So let's go ahead and do that. About five, here we move in the south. Traffic's been a keeping it clean. Mile after mile, concrete streams are not futuristic, never sell into revving the river. All right, so quick and dirty landscaping, but we need to go and make sure that we put those in a folder and get those phased as well. So wrap with folder and call those proposed trees and we will call those proposed in the phasing. Also, like to lock those down just so the selector icons don't come up. And now, if we go back to our Gantt chart, we're gonna go from existing to proposed very quickly. And you can see aesthetically how nice that is. All right, so I do wanna add just a few more things like some pedestrians and traf traffic paths, so I'll do that and then I'll jump back in for narration. Alive, let it sail. Monitor this lit, 3D vision in full view. Catastrophic creations, we blaze the path true. Flowing through the city, infrastructure's a must. In the heart of a hustle, we cultivate trust. Elevate the scene, wrap it up in the beat. From the ground to the sky, watch the cross can't be beat. We save in the world, see the art collide. All right, and then also, I just want to make a, a strategic decision. I'm going to go away with the buildings. I showed how you can do that. But I think this whole thing is going to look better. If I don't make this an urban setting, so what I'm gonna do is go to assets, buildings, let's just turn those off. And what I wanna do instead is, let's do some sort of, let's see what grass looks like. Maybe something like this. And we need to do the same for existing, which we'll do. But we wanna add some, let's see what vegetation we have, collections. We've got jungle, and that's gonna make sense in this scenario. So I'm gonna turn on my area visualizer. Go to jungle. In this structure, the life there's nowhere to hide. Beautiful structures. All right, and then one thing that we're gonna probably have to do a little different is we make it have to make adjustments to those because let's go to our phasing and turn off existing and do this one. Okay, so those will probably work. So what we need to do is just make sure that our texture is changed. And then let's turn off our area visualizer. And then we wanna to go to hierarchy areas and we need to make sure these trees are put in a folder and they're called existing trees. And then we're gonna make those existing remaining because they will not be removed. Let's lock those. And then now we can go to back to our publisher. And now we can look at that difference between existing and proposed. So now it's looking much nicer. And then to wrap this all up, what I'm gonna do is go to our sequencer and we're going to bring all this together. So the sequencer is kind of like a mini video editing tool. And the nice thing is you can blend it with the 4D phasing. So let's create a new timeline. And actually before we do that, let's make, we're just gonna make a simple video. And so we wanna add some keyframes. Nothing too crazy. Driving our fate in this transit life, we elevate. All 
All right, so let's name this. Let's call this flyover. And then now if we go to our sequencer, we've got our timeline and let's edit it. What we want to do is add that camera. So now we can see that camera down there, but then we also want to go to phasing 4D and then have that on there too. So you can see it's going to shift right in the middle of our, our camera. Just want to go to existing and go to our, we just need our yellow and red durations to be a little bit longer here. All right, just that's going to help make sure that the vehicles don't drive through each other. Probably do the same thing here. For proposed, all right, let's go back to our publisher. Just want to see here. All right, so that's looking good. So let's get to our sequencer. And one thing you can do too, you can't change the length of the camera because that's set in the camera settings, but you can change the length of the, the phasing. So if we want that change to happen faster, then we can just go like this and it's gonna hold the proposed for the rest. And another thing you can do too, is just render out the same cameras and then you can go into video editing. Not, we don't have that feature yet in the sequencer, but you can blend or do white fades like you've seen here in the intro of this video. So if I wanna go add, let's go to cameras, let's add another camera. So if I render this out and then I render out the same one when I have the existing turn on, then I can do a white fade between them. Let's tighten our field of view so we don't see that blue in the background. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up. So this took 30 minutes. I think this might be a new record on the Civil Visualizing with Sam. Obviously this is a very simple project, but Civil Engine makes these things remarkably efficient to do. From texturing, to traffic paths, to intersection controllers, you can do all these things very quickly using this tool. Please check it out, beyondcad.com slash Civil Engine. I encourage you to start a free 30 day trial if you're interested in this tool, reach out to us at the contact us button on beyondcad.com and we would love to do a demo with you. Talk about that, how this can be used on your own projects. Maybe you have something in Open Roads Designer or MicroStation or InfoWorks or Civil 3D. We can talk about how you can use this tool on your very own projects. My name is Sam Lytle. I am the founder of BeyondCAD and I will talk to you in the next one. And round we go like a will on the grind. Blueprints in the air, futures what we find. From bridges to the tunnels, we're laying out the lines in this dance of the city where our purpose shines. With every turn we take, innovations in the mix. Traffic flows smoother, like bees in the fit. Surveying the skyline through the lens of our art. In this endless roundabout is where dreams start. Beautiful structures, driving our fate. In this transit like we elevate.